Alright folks, it's an update video. I'm getting a lot of comments on my video for how to give Minecraft extra memory. Um, a lot of these comments, I literally just got, I can't reply to them because it, they're all the same sort of thing. Oh, it won't open. Oh, it's not working. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Like, my file to open Minecraft won't open. How am I supposed to help you? I can't, I can't give you a solution from that, mate. Um, CMD document can't open. Why? I don't know. I, I don't. That it could be hundreds of different reasons. You might have not saved it right. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna go over a few things, but that might fix it. But I can't. Re like, uh, it's the same thing. Like, here, here's one. Error. Could not create. See, I can actually help this guy because he's given me some explanation. Um, I've tried to help him. I don't know whether it has helped him. I've had no reply since. But you know what I mean. Um. I'm going to show you a much easier way to do it now so that you don't have to uh let me get rid of this. Uh wait, that was yeah, that was the right window. You don't have to use a batch file anymore with the latest version. You can just use the Minecraft launcher. Um So, if you want to use an earlier version of Minecraft that doesn't have this special launcher that they've got now, you're gonna to have to still use a batch file, so I will go over some of that at the end. If you want, if I'll put a time frame on now. If you want some fixes for that, just click on that, go straight to that. Um, so to do it in the new launcher, all you have to do, open your Minecraft, okay, uh, make sure you're logged in, and go to your your thing, edit profile, and then at the bottom you'll look at the Java settings, advanced, uh, JVM arguments, XMX. And it'll start off with 1G, it'll probably have that in, it'll probably have it unticked actually, so you'll have to tick the box. And then change the 1 in the 1G, or if it doesn't have that typed in, just type it in yourself. Um, so 1G is 1 gig, 2G is 2 gig, 3G is 3 gig, 4G is 4 gig, 4 gig etc, etc. So if you have 32 gig, go crazy, give it whatever you want. If you've got 2 gigs, don't bother. If you only have 2 gigs of RAM, don't give it any extra, because it's not going to work. Your computer needs something. You can't dedicate all of your computer to Minecraft because the rest of it won't work, will it? So, let's let's say for instance I want 3 gigs of RAM dedicated to it, so save that, play, and let's check it's worked. I'll show you how to check it's worked. Single player, new world, da -da -da. what you have to do is once you're in game, just press F3, and if you look in the top right it says used memory, and that's on 11%, which is 300 and... Oh, it's going up and down, it's going up and down. It's roughly about 300 meg of the 3 gigs I've given to it. So it's 2.7 gig is basically what I've given to it, 2,700 meg. Uh, the reason it's not exactly 3 gig is to do with um, gigabytes and gigabits being different, megabytes, megabits, etc, etc, Java being a bit weird, but that's not important. It's given it more, that's what you want, it gives it close enough, gives it a little bit less. But to be honest, even 2 gigs, you're not going to use that really. If it, The only time you're going to use more than that is possibly in something like if you've got lots of mods, like Techit, if you're using Techit or Technic, something like that, or Feed the Beast, um, then you'll end up using a bit more RAM. But I think in them launchers there's also the same sort of thing as in this new one. Um, you can actually change it in the launcher. Um, but if you want to use a batch file, it still works. Um, I just I, I use it but it's 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 six and two threes whether you really use the launcher or the batch file. Anyway, so let's get out of this. Um quit that. Problems. If you're having problems with this, um make sure you've typed it right, just check that again, make sure it's exactly the same, and when you save it, make sure you've definitely saved it as a batch file. Okay, so make sure you change the file type to all files and then name it something dot BAT. Make sure you have that. If you don't have that, it's not going to work. If you typed it wrong, it's not going to work. If you put a comma, it's not going to work. It has to be a dot .bat. That's it. Save that. Run it. If you get an error, or if something else happens, or I would advise checking your Java versions. Make sure you've got no clashing versions, so you don't have a 32-bit and a 64-bit Java on your machine. Make sure you've got the right bit software for your machine. So to check if you're 32 or 64-bit, just go to Computer, right-click, Properties, and it says there's 64-bit operating system. Okay, um, if it's just 32-bit, you need 32-bit Java. To to get Java, all you have to do, let me just grab a window, 
open your browser and just type Java JRE and then that one there, Java Runtime Environment 7 is the one that you want click on that uh, accept license agreement make sure you click accept and then find the right bit the right install file for your machine so if you're running Windows X64 that's 64 bit then you need that exe there um, if you're running a 32 bit you need the x86 I would say do the offline one so grab that one there if you're running Linux or something else on Mac then good luck go crazy I haven't got a clue how that works but that's all I can give you for that um, I don't know what else it would be causing it <sighs> unless there's something wrong with the actual Minecraft but just go with that um, if, if anyone has any more problems if you want to leave a comment if you're having a problem please leave a bit more detail on your comment because I, I can't help you with like a little amount of information like that unfortunately I know some of you can't give me more information than what you have like if it's not opening it's just not opening I mean I can't do anything with that but um, I appreciate you asking me but I can't do anything with that you, just look online there's plenty of help online lots of forums and everything just go and have a look and good luck